think one of the most powerful things we can do is with our food. It's a daily connection and most of us are extremely passionate about it. So it's really good just to know where our food comes from. That seems to be an important question to ask in the morning. It seems to be an important question to ask when you're at a restaurant. It seems to be an important question to ask at the farmer's market. It's about building relationships and sort of a greater understanding of our connection to that most critical need. You know, food. Why is it so important to know where our food comes from? It's because we've taken it for granted that our industrial system now brings food from 2,000 miles away and we think that's okay. By bringing food from a long distance, you're depriving your local community from the opportunity to produce food. By us understanding exactly where our food comes from and if it came from you know, within 50 miles, say a farmer's market type of situation, I mean, what a great thing, because that money now circulates back through that economy. So when you say, what is good food? Well, good food is fresh food and it's local food and it's organic food. Green Feast is about bringing people together to celebrate food and most importantly, just to say, where do, this is where our food comes from. And we're so proud of our food shed Right? We talk about watersheds and, and water education and that's sort of a geographical area where all the water in a certain zone is, is drained into the ocean. But the food, where does it all drain? It all drains under this big table. You know, and for Green Feast, it's within 150 miles. And so we work with some incredible chefs, the most celebrated local chefs in our region that have a heightened awareness to local seasonal organic foods. If we go anywhere here in Orange County and take average restaurants and look at their menus and look at the ingredients and then trace back to where the ingredients came from and just the carbon footprint of one dish, it freaks people out. I have the ability to push for sustainable initiatives in our seafood industry and we've been out teaching chefs about using sustainable or properly sourced seafood products. I've spent my career and life working on the ocean and, and for the ocean, so I, I think that the, the alarms and the bells that have been sounded are, are, are for the most part true. I mean, there are some very uh, serious uh, impacts that are affecting the health of the ocean. So when you support a local fishery, you're actually supporting that management regime in itself, for sure, with population growing, with seafood becoming a part of a healthy diet. There's going to be more and more demand. It's going to be met from sustainably wild-caught fisheries as well as from sustainable aquaculture fisheries as well. There's no doubt about that. We're an oyster, mussel, and red ogo seaweed farm for the most part as far as culinary use goes. We're all sustainable here. If you look out in our lagoon, you have a whole bunch of pelicans and fish. Everything is just living in its natural way even if we weren't here. The beautiful thing about what we grow here is that we leave it on the vine or on the plant until it's really ripe and delicious. We don't have to pick things to ship them. So we pick them and, and, and send them on their way. So the advantage is that everything is ripe and delicious when it's picked and you know the flavor would be there. Green Feast is definitely a highlight, definitely. It's good to know our food is out there in the community. People are really reaching out and kind of getting more to the farmers markets and getting more, getting more educated on, on using local ingredients. Um, it's not, you know, it's not so much that they can't get it at the grocery store, but I think people are really starting to care about what they eat a lot more, especially in Orange County. I go to the farmer's market every Saturday and Sunday, and it's packed. I mean, it, people are buying organic produce and buying local and really trying to support the, the, the local farmers. I think, generally speaking, I want to I want to educate the, the consumer in what is available in the surrounding area. And Orange County used to be one of the biggest agriculture and producing um, communities in Southern California, and that's changed dramatically in the last 10, 20 years. We need to start closing that circle so that Orange County produce is served to Orange County customers through Orange County restaurants. The bees pollinate everything, and they, they're, they're what makes the fruit produce. So that's why we love the local honeybees. We have beautiful local creamy wildflower honey from uh, Honey Pacifica, and we're starting our own bee program as well across the street at Aliso Creek we're going to start we're farming our own bees and getting our own honey from there so it's even more local so someone comes in with a cold natural antihistamine try a spoonful of this in your coffee and your tea and it's like a miracle we're really excited about this new eco app off that we're calling it it's this hyper sustainable appetizer contest as a vetting process for the next round of chefs for the next green fee We've identified chefs that we think are amazing and connect to sustainability in their kitchens. I had certain expectations or certain things that I expected to happen. I was 
really pleasantly surprised by the Ecology Center and what they're doing here and this green feast. You know that community, the whole community aspect of it, and that's where it all goes back to. I think I think we need to like bring that all back around and people will start to understand what it's all about. The winner for the 2011 Eco App Off is Chef Justin Monson from Vine. This green feast is uh, just a spectacle to behold, you know, it's just uh, amazing to see so many great uh, people coming together to create such a, uh, like a, a meal that you can really feel good about eating. <laughs> we at Hurley really love what he's doing and am stoked at uh, what a great turnout tonight is. About halfway through I just stand there and look at all the people eating and it's usually at about dusk and the light is wonderful and the candles are just starting to take effect and everyone is laughing and eating and having a great time and I look at that and I look at the setting in this wonderful valley and I think wow how lucky we are to be able to sit here and do this. Green Feast is within 150 miles of food production and it's about bringing people together to understand that this is their neighborhood, this is their community. It's winemakers, it's farmers, it's fishermen, it's ranchers. It's a really neat opportunity for us to tell that story and engage people in an outdoor evening that says, let's, let's talk, let's tell the story, let's build this community and see where it goes from there. Mm -hmm.